I hope you guys seeing what I'm seeing here. I'm trying to establish the height. If that is not enough motivation for you, man, to get your project going, <laughs> I don't know what else, man. It's real solid how you can see the turbo like that, you know, right on top of it. Yeah, it's not the best weld there is, but it will do. Somehow, I could not get that rod to be welded on that flange, man. But uh, I ended up using my TIG welder, and there it is. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, SagitNet2. Finally got the uh, turbo mounted on how I wanted it, as you can see. There's plenty of gap on both sides, so I think I'll be able to uh, somehow manage to get these uh, runners without touching the block or the radiator. Got the correct height that I wanted. There's plenty of clearance within the bonnet. I don't have to worry about burning through the paint. The angle is correct. The reason being for the angle is I wanted to have a plenty of clearance for my hot charge right here in this area. So I really have to uh, strategically place the number one runners without interfering the hot charge and I have to pay attention on the clearance right here for my uh, alternator connector I should be able to uh, make some servicing on that alternator without disturbing the turbo it'll be interesting it's not for show so once I get done with it I just need to uh, wrap it up it really helps out as far as the temperature on the engine bay. I have learned from the past that uh, the number one enemy of the motor, if you have a turbo, is heat soaking. First thing I'll do is the number two runners. Once I secure that, then the rest will follow. I already marked this up. This one will be right here. And I just need to come up with a joint at the center once it's all tack welded. And number three will be next, then number four, and the last one will be the number one. I'll keep you guys updated on any progress that I do. Okay? To fill that gap, I need to find the widest, which is this one, like eyeball, be like one inch, and the one for the bottom, half inch, there, it's like a Roman puzzle. Okay, I think number two is done. Just need to tack that and I'll be working on the number three it's next.
Okay. Let's give it a try. I think that will do. This time I got some clearance on the block right here. Man, yeah, you know, uh, this thing will expand. I'm gonna have to notch that block, but that's the best I can do. It should be good. A little bit of a progress report. Got the number four pretty much like all secured. Got the number three all welded up. Now I'm getting ready to uh, tackle the number one. It's because I could not do the number one on the fixture. It's because of this. So I have to do it from here. I'll I'll boil it and then uh, start from there. But man, it's looking good already, man. Any engine that has a turbo, it looks good, man. It just kills me. <laughs> Don't you think? Man, I'm getting excited on this one. This is what 2025 uh, <laughs> build, man. But for now. I'll just build the turbo manifold. Get that thing ready. Yeah, I got more things to do. I gotta do the downpipe, the wastegate, placement of it. But there it is. And for some of my new viewers, uh, this is my uh, turbo manifold that I made. I think this is the third turbo manifold that I made uh, a long time ago. I'll say maybe three, four years ago. And this was a AC compatible for my Honda Accord. And I have decided to uh, chop this up and make it a, a top mount instead. Yeah, this was a, a downside uh, mount turbo manifold before. So I'm just reusing whatever I could salvage off from it. That way I don't have to buy anything. I kind of like how the uh, top mount turbo looks. So uh, it, it's the new thing now. Before it was the, uh, the turbo manifold that was for show, but not anymore. Now it's the turbocharger. It's the uh, showpiece. <laughs> Even though I'm using eBay Turbo, <laughs> it's still okay. It looks good. <laughs> so that's how it's going to be right there. So I have to make sure I have plenty of uh, clearance here. Okay, so that's next. This is the last runner that I'm about to make. And I'm going to fill this gap. I think I'm going to use this. That way you still have that contour. And that will be the last of it. This is the progress. I'm almost done. I just need to remove it from the jig and finish the weld in this area and also underneath the each runners.
but other than that man it looks good man <laughs> in my book <laughs> so as soon as uh, it normalize it cool off I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna try it first before I finish it I want to make sure that I got plenty of clearance all around I ran out of gas and it's a weekend go <laughs> I want to check the uh, flange make sure I didn't warp it I want to check the flange make sure I didn't uh, cook this thing ah, it's all right a little bit of uh, the center but gasket will fix it I guess good my uh, welding scales is improving that's an old one right there I'm gonna keep it like that <laughs> a reminder new one old weld Turn out to be uh, each runners are equal. All right, let's try it. not bad there's plenty of clearances on the block no problem there for the radiator not bad and for this uh, alternator yeah not bad there the bolt I can keep the bolt way underneath and for the uh, hot charge yeah there's quite a lot of uh, space there man yeah it does look good man wow hmm if that is not enough motivation for you man to get your project going I don't know what else I must do <laughs> 